Hey everybody, how are you? It is, I don't know what time it is because I can't see. I just left the eye doctors and they dilated my eyes and the sunglasses don't help. So, I just figured I'd let you ride with me home. So, anyhow, um, my stigmatism's getting worse and I've known about that for years. Um, and my cataracts, I have cataracts. I knew about that two years ago, but two years ago they weren't bad enough to do anything about. And she said, right now they're on that edge. That There's no way she can push it through to the insurance. I wish she'd try, though, because my insurance is really good. They cover everything. But um, she said that she doesn't think they'll cover it yet. And I said, well, you know, isn't that lovely? Um, you know, you wait till it gets real bad. But they've known for, this is like, go ahead, pull out in front of me, jackass. I can't see anyhow. Um, you know, but I've known about cataracts now. This is like two and a half, three years. So I don't know what they're waiting for. But my eyesight's gotten quite a bit worse. So my prescription's changing quite a bit. So I will have my new glasses in about a week, week and a half. Shit, I didn't put my seatbelt on. Um, I got some cute little frames. They're real close to not these ones, but another pair I have. A little bronze pair. You might have seen me wear them. Real close to them, only the sides are a little fancier. And I'm going to have them uh, tinted. Starting dark brown down to clear. I like a tint. That way I don't have to wear sunglasses. These are tinted rose color is what I wanted, but... I wanted it real dark rose at the top and work it down. They didn't do it right, so. Um, but they'll work, you know, when I'm driving in the sun. But they're not dark like I wanted. Sorry, got a piece of skin. Um, so, yeah, this is kind of tough trying to see and, and drive. But them sunglass things they gave me just make it worse. So, if I have funny looks on my face, it's just... I don't know why I have funny looks on my face. It don't make me see any better, but I guess I feel like it does. If I stop again, I'll hook my seatbelt up. I just don't want to try to do that. I got somebody next to me, and I want to stay away from them because they're coming over their line. Um, so, yeah, that's what I've done with my morning. And I'm going home to get my grandson and his girlfriend. They want to go to Ross. He said Ross is having a 49-cent... Two dollar. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm gonna go with them and see. Why they want me to go with them? I don't know. But they asked me to go, so um, that's what I'm gonna do. And then when I get back, I'm going to start taking the fish tank apart and um, move the fish out to the other tank. Till I get this one. I'm going to have to let it set. Oh good, red light. I'm going to have to let it set up, you know, the new glue or whatever you call it, epoxy resin, whatever you, what this stuff is that i got to redo it with. Let it set for a couple days and get hard. But I'll get it in place and get it all put back together because I'm going to move my bookshelves and um, my um, china hat. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. Well, I'm going to start on it. I'm not going to get it all done today. I'll work on it today and tomorrow. It's going to work outside today, but it's still too cold. You see, I got a hoodie on, um, long pants. It's chilly even with, with the hoodie on. But it's not as horrible as it's been the last week. Or even longer, actually. It's been a few weeks. It's been since Thanksgiving. It's been cold. So I'm hoping by, you know, Wednesday noontime it's warm enough. We want to go out in the yak for a few hours. Mostly too cold, but you know, I'll put a wetsuit on it. 
take some extra towels, you know, in case I get cold, cover up. Just go. Just want to go. Because so I got to work Friday, Saturday, Sunday this week, so. I need a day out. I do. Um, I don't know why Friday she's got me all day, but I have a, uh, bonsai workshop Friday at 11. We're not feeding them or anything. So, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, that's alright. I'll stay till 5. I'm hoping, I'm hoping by then that we should have our delivery by then. And, uh, that makes me real happy. Said we'll have something to offer our customers when they come in. Instead of saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we're out. So, one of our sister groves, I probably already told you this, in California is going to ante up um, some olive oil because two reasons. Number one, we don't buy it out of country because you can't ensure what you're getting. And number two, they've closed their borders. Anyhow, they didn't have that good of a harvest last year, so they're not uh, exporting. And I'm fine with getting it from California. And I tell everybody, you know, we have to get it from there. That's what I tell them. It's from California. I don't tell them it's ours. I don't, you know, I'm not that person. So, anyhow. Man, that stuff that they put in your eyes, it seems like it goes in your nasal cavities. and They dilated me a good, God, 45 minutes ago. Maybe, maybe a little longer. It seems like it's worse now than 10 minutes after they did it. So, yeah, that's what I did this morning. Yeah, stop, please. Don't pull out in front of me. Thank you, dumbass. Um, so, yeah, that's where. This is weird. She told me that I'll know when I'm eligible for the cataract surgery when I start getting the halos at night and when bright lights start bothering me at night, which I don't have those issues yet. But my stigmatism has got me seeing things with shadows, you know, like they're stacked on top of each other, two or three. So um, I don't know how she's doing the lenses to adjust for that. As I told her, I said, everything I look at is just fuzzy. Like, just fuzzy. Sometimes, just like, you know, a, a speed limit sign. I gotta really look at it sometimes. And then there's other times I'm okay. Uh, of course, right now, I don't see a whole lot of anything. It's a good thing my car knows where I'm supposed to be going. sure why they let people drive after they do that, but they always have. Every time I get my eyes checked, they say, here's your sunglasses. Have a nice day. Okay. I thought John's girlfriend was going to go with me. Um, that way she could have driven back, but uh, came up with he was going to be her or something. I don't know. But that's okay. people drive anymore. You know, this morning when I took off to go over to the eyeglass place, I didn't get six blocks from my house and two people pulled out in front of me. Two. Within six blocks of my house. I don't, I don't. Yeah. You know, people might get mad at me on here because sometimes I'll forget to put my seatbelt on. But you know what? I'd rather forget my seatbelt than be some jackass that pulls out in front of somebody. You know? That's why we need the seatbelts. Because we got them people that don't care. They think you give them a fucking key. and Yeah, and they own the road. But, that's alright. They're just all lucky I don't drive a bigger vehicle. Just 
there are just sometimes I just get that e about me and just want to go and push them right off the road, you know? Yeah, I do. But anyhow, I'm not going to let it bother me. I'm going to go out with the kids this afternoon and have a good time. And go back and work on my fish tank. And they want nachos for dinner, so I'm going to make nachos. And uh, that's how I'm going to spend my day. It's exactly, because I got up early this morning. I got all my housework done, you know. But I do that every day. So that's not new news, right? I'll be out the door with breakfast and lunch and you got pork roast and mashed potatoes and gravy and corn for lunch and um, I think you got a croissant with ham cheese and egg on I write on it but I don't remember which one I pulled I think it was a ham croissant so he's got some good stuff for the day and he loves my pork roast he says I'm the only person he ever knew in his life that could cook a pork roast where it wasn't greasy and it's never greasy. My first husband said that too. First time I told him I was going to make a pork roast, he said, oh, please don't. I can't stomach pork. And I'm like, why? It's so goddamn greasy. Well, I made a pork roast anyhow, and he insisted I make them quite often. He's like, I have never had a pork roast like yours. He said, they're not greasy, but they're juicy. And so I don't know what I do different. I just cook the way my grandma taught me, you know? But it was good. And then my gravy. Oh, the gravy. That was the best part, was the gravy. So, yeah. Alright, guys. I'm about approaching my house. And I've got to run out and run into the kitty litter box. Because my bladder's about to explode. And um, I'll update you if there's anything fun going on with my shopping spree with these kids. Um afternoon. Alright guys, thanks for stopping. I love y'all. Push my buttons and um, I'll be back later. Alright guys, see you later. Thanks for riding with me by the way. Okay, bye.